we will not tell you about the artichoke, no we won't, but welcome back, and if you haven't been with us today, you have been conspicuous by your absence, because the Cliff Richard and Elaine Page have been with us right throughout the programme. Later they're going to be playing aside with an exclusive, it's a world exclusive, it is, it's a live duet, in fact they've never performed it before themselves. <laughs> so one thing obviously that Cliff and Elaine have to be very careful about with their constant touring and hectic lifestyles is looking after their health, and today we have someone with us who always, always believes in cooking very healthily and we're very pleased to welcome for the first time to the house, Ed Baines. Thank Hi you. Ed. Thank you. How are you? Right, here we go. That's this it. is uh, uh, but just before oh, we, oh. we start all the cooking, Ed, you know, that. we don't I, need that anymore. I have, no, I'll wash it for you in a second, actually. I have noticed that mm. increasingly chefs are not using fat at all, hardly, in, in terms of their cooking. So there is a good emphasis on healthy That's cooking. what they tell you on camera. <laughs> don't run out the back, and I'll like, just put a bit of a sheen on that with a touch of butter. But, um, yeah, increasingly, I think, you know, people's diets have changed, and we're all looking for something a bit healthier nowadays. And, um, yeah, we're sort of cutting out the fat. A lot of grilling, that kind of yes. thing nowadays. We should you tell know. you that Lane doesn't cook at all, do you? Well, I do a bit. I'm, I mean, I'm famous for my English roast, Sunday roast. roast. You're very good on your pastas? Beef bourguignon. <laughs> Please, please, don't ever ask Cliff to make birth burger you know, ever, ever We're again. Not live on Stop. <laughs> so, Ed, what are you going to cook for us? What we've got, it's quite simple. It's um, this dish we're basically roasting brill. And the really good thing about this is, is there's no washing up. We get a piece of foil, like so, and we're going to put all our ingredients into this. So, what we've got over here is we've got some lemons, so we've got lemon juice in there. We've got some artichokes that have already been done. We just trim them up. We talk about artichokes, don't we? How do you with artichokes, if you get baby artichokes, you can just do them whole and cook them gently in oil. If you've got the big artichokes, you don't want to cut the stalk off, you want to snap it. That, that really makes all the difference. And what, peel all the layers off? And, and then off. gently pick mm -hmm. the outside leaves off and just boil them up for about 40, well, about 45 minutes, really. You cook them quite gently. We've got some fresh peas. They're banging season at the moment. Peas in the pod, delicious, mm -hmm. fantastic. We've got some garlic, parsley, red onion and the dreaded butter, but I'm, I literally just use a touch of butter in the sauce. I'm not going to get too carried away. And, and of course, you, you can cook almost anything in foil, can't you? You know, chicken, any anything, kind of fish. Anything, and the why, other why thing... Why did you choose brill? Well, the thing, obviously, it's a, it's a flat fish, which is great. It's got no bones, very, you know, easy to eat, and it's not expensive. I mean, if you're going for the turbot halibut, it, you're pushing the prices a bit. Brill is still very reasonable. And as you say, you can cook anything in foil, even on a barbecue. If you're going to cook it on a barbecue or on a grill, you just double it over so you've got twice the strength. Okay. But we'll start with this, and if all we want to do... Right, yeah, we're going to put a touch of wine, <laughs> and basically the, the whole on, this is... Um, the already. Yes. <laughs> this is, the one important thing is this is called cooking on papillot is if you're going to do it in foil, a silver side's on the inside, or it will deflect off all the heat, and you're not going to get really anyway. You can put things oh. in the oven for 30 oh, minutes. Oh, really? So that's a little bit that. of the technical side, so See, shiny, the shiny side, side inside. inside. Shiny side inside. inside. Yeah. So all we're going to do, and with this dish, and I better get this on the go now, it won't be ready, but this is a Swiss thing called pomeroysti. All I've done is grated some potatoes. I just pre-blanched them in boiling water, whole. Um, <laughs> What have I done? Oh, I'm they, right. they, they think that I don't know how to You're do You're going to do this, aren't you? No, I'm not. Okay. Who's going to do this? Because I've got to do the fish. What have I got to do? Okay, All we've got to do, do? Okay, got to do is put some know pepper is in there, a little bit of pepper. Yeah, right. So, you just so grated, you've just grated the potato, yes? We've just grated the potato mm -hmm. and then grated pepper. them, like so, into a bowl. Okay. Salt and pepper, like that. You so far, I'm do doing this really well, aren't I? All we've got to do, it's very sticky. So oh. we grate it and put it in. All you've got to do is just pop what it in with the fingers. Pan. Yeah, just pop it in. I've got a spoon oh. there. You want a spoon? <laughs> there you go. I've got a cloth there. You've got to pop them in there. All of it. That's it. So that goes in there. All yeah. of that. Lovely. And then Very we've got the heat on. The and water there you are. There. Thank you. That's fine. Thank you. And we're just going to squash this down and start to cook it out slowly. And that will end up becoming a potato cake, I hope. Oh. Although we're running out of time, but there we go. Now, quickly on this one. So we've got our foil here. A touch of olive oil. Like in there. Okay. Now, olive oil is permissible, isn't it? Yeah, it's healthy. Yeah. Very good for you. Very good. Very Thank healthy. You. And I'm going to whip into my fridge and get out my fresh <coughs> fillets. And as you see, the fillets, there's no bones in these. And Ooh, I asked the fishmonger yeah, to whip the skin off. Yeah. So you've got a lovely piece of fish, and we just pop that, like so, on, on the foil. The oil. Mm -hmm. Then, now let's add some bits. All we do is let's get some fresh peas, and we just pop them over the top. So, literally, you're going to put everything into this. Are you oh, looking after your roasty? A good bit of that's no fine, it's cooking away. <laughs> so we've got a bit of parsley, little touch of garlic, so got some chopped peas garlic. Gone in the garlic, garlic, Terrific. parsley. Artichoke. We can just pop them on the side. So what have you done with the artichoke? You, you've Cut just them. 
All I've done trim is them. trim them up and actually slowly cook them in olive oil mm -hmm. and then strain them off. Finish with a little bit of lemon juice. I just pop That's them in whole. Lovely. They're great on the side. You could do this. In Black pepper. I think I could. Yeah, this would look so Don't impressive. Don't forget your salt and pepper. It does. It does make all the difference. Obviously, not too much salt. Mm -hmm. Pepper is totally up what to you. What about the wine? And then, <laughs> yes, of course, last but not least, a little a bit wine. of white wine. Uh -huh. Whatever's your favourite. You just pop it in there, like so. Quite a lot. Quite a bit, really? actually. Yeah, because you want all the steam to come through. And then I've just got a little bit of fish stock here. So I'm going to pour that over as well. That's that. I think you need to turn your heat up there. And then, this one. I'm just going to put, for a little bit of colour, I've got some chopped red onion. And that, again, will just oh. poke through. So actually, Ed, all you're doing oh, is just sort of building it's up. Off. It's gone off. Oh, yeah, oh no, no, come, on, come on, come on, don't panic. Okay. All you're so doing, Ed, then is just building up your parcel of vegetables Anything on top of the like fish. Anything you like in there. It's whatever mm -hmm. you like. Do you like asparagus? Put that in there. You know, beans. And then how long whatever does it take like? to cook? It takes about 18 to 20 minutes. That's not long, about is it? 200. It doesn't take long. And the other thing about it, if you cook it, you know, if you've got friends coming around, and you can put it in the oven, sit down, have your starters, Think, you think, oh, you know, it's ready now at 20 minutes. You don't have to have it straight away because it will stay nice and hot in the bag. It won't overcook. It will just sit Listen, there. Listen, Ed, ah. I can see us all struggling with 10 parcels of foil to there be on. There we go. Look at that, though. <laughs> That's it. It's that simple. It's that quick. Fantastic. And there you, you go. Do, excuse me. Do you want to get a hotter, a hotter plate? Um, oh, I couldn't make that. I think the back one's a hotter than that. Oh, that one. That's no, a hotter one. That's a hotter one. Oh. That big one at the back. Yeah. Now that's want. starting to get there, and so this is it. And you, the one thing that's quite important is keep it nice and loose. This bag. Keep the bag. Keep the, steam the bag is nice and loose. Inside, you try and wrap it? it up too tight. Yeah, mm -hmm. you won't able to cook. I'm gonna pop that in the oven. And the old cliche. Here's one I did earlier. Itself, this is easy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that is easy. No, I'm telling you. Oh, here's one he prepared earlier. Uh -huh. Aha. <laughs> so here it is. So there's this. Let's have a look at that. I'll just open this up. Do you do this a lot in your restaurant? I do, yeah, oh, yeah, good. and it's great. I mean, look at that. You've got everything there. Mm. Oh, oh it's very nice. It smells heavenly. Mm. It looks wonderful. You get all the smells Ooh, coming yeah. up. Oh, all yes. all the... <laughs> <laughs> then... No doubt you'd have a bottle in each parcel. I would. <laughs> <laughs> now, the old Roy Steve, this is basically a potato cake, and it's going <clears> to <throat> take a bit of time. So we'll just leave that cooking off there. So, did you have anything with the potato apart from salt and pepper? Absolutely nothing. No. And, and it, then you will, just... it will hold itself together. I mean, it's, it's cooking out, but unfortunately, it's going to be a Not little while. Enough. So, do you That's need right. to do that on a high, but, um, high flame? Yeah, it should have been hotter. Yeah, unfortunately, that one's. Well, the thing is, we'll, we'll, we'll have that ready for the end of the program darting. after you sing so that you can eat it. For yummy, your yummy. It's starting to hold together yes. there. How are you going to serve this up then, Ed? Um, all we're going to do is basically take a piece of fish, turn that off there. And I'm just going to slip it off like so. Oh, it does look very nice. Mm. That can go like that. It's such easy oh, cooking, isn't it? the presentation is so nice. Look at yeah. that. Beautiful. Very things. simple. Spoon and a few of the Spoon a few of the peas, peas and the and juice over mm -hmm. it, like so. Lovely. And then... Oh, well, Ed, we'll all be at your place then later on. Like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> there we go. That looks then, delicious, then. Delicious. This chap, well, we should have a bit of colour. We'll wait for that to cook and we'll taste it at the end. Oh, 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 oh. bit. That's all right, that's all right. Don't worry about that. There we go. Excellent. Ed, I have to leave you at that point because we have the song coming up. But okay. Ed, just thank you very much indeed. And we'll tuck it afterwards. Wonderful. Oh, we'll eat it afterwards. Ed Baines, thank you. Thank you. Marvellous because while Cliff and Elaine sing, I'll be able to have the first taste. <laughs> but now, just a quick reminder about today's competition. We have three pairs of tickets to Cliff's concert with Elaine, of course, as special guest. That's in Hyde Park this Sunday night. Well, we have the tickets for Sunday night, but the concerts are Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Plus, I will be making you three delicious hampers full of all the goodies to make sure that you have a really wonderful evening. We're hoping, of course, that the weather is going to be great all over the weekend. All you have to do is to answer the following question. What was Cliff's first number one? Was it A, Move It, B, Living Doll, C, Summer Holiday? And to enter the competition, well, we have a special line, and I'm going to give you that number again. It is 0900 triple one double four double one that's our special line if you want to enter the calls will cost no more than 30p but if you don't pay the phone bill do get permission before you call the lines close at midnight tomorrow and we'll be announcing who the lucky winners are on thursday's program well now it's the moment that we've all been waiting for this weekend they'll be performing in front of tens of thousands of fans in hyde park but now just for us with a very special and exclusive treat on open house the first time they performed it 
anytime on television anywhere. So the song was a huge hit for Cliff in the mid 70s. Here they are, Cliff Richard and Elaine Page with Miss Unites. <laughs> Good. So obviously the concert's coming up, and so what time do you kick off on Friday night? I think the I was going to say the gates open. The, <laughs> I think it's four four o'clock, five four o'clock, and the show starts. Well, at it's going to, they're going to be a very special concert. Thank you both very much indeed for being with us. We've had a wonderful time. Thank you for your company from all of us. See you tomorrow at two fifteen. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. bye. bye.